Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in Detroit, the deeply flawed predecessor to automation, as you by now all know. And uh, if you have made it that far, you have seen me uh, delve deeper into madness while continuing playing this campaign. And I think we are almost at the point where we are completely detached from any kind of uh, reasonable game balance. Um, I think with just a few new updates to our cars, we will be so far ahead of the competition that they will never be able to catch us. And we have so much money in the bank that they will never be able to do anything anymore. So let's take a look. I think we ended the last episode, which is now like over two weeks ago since I recorded it. Uh, I think we just had a big set of new items. Yes, uh, I think this uh, new six-cylinder engine was was new. And uh, we did also have some new suspension. Shock absorbers! Maybe this is the first... The first one which gives us a road hold. That means that it loads different animation for the curve test. Uh, for the cornering test. Uh, that will be interesting to see, of course, uh, what that animation looks like. And uh, yeah, so I think we need to uh, update our lineup. Okay, yeah, they uh, they are still on par with us in the brake suspension and cooling, but we are pulling ahead in safety, luxury, and even the bodies, engines. We are we are like already in the 60s somewhere, I guess. Uh, so uh, not much competition there, but um, still just update our lineup and this time around I shall try out just leaving the name as is to not uh, have to um, switch around the, the um, lines uh, or the delivery lines or distribution lines I think it's called um, anyway that's uh, that is certainly helpful um, and that is something that was written in the manual of the game and uh, having a manual of course, back in the day, it was kind of required because these games, just by the by by the technical limit limitations, didn't even have the the really the possibility of informing you properly because there's so little text that can fit on screen, and you didn't have voiceovers, and yeah, basically impossible to tell players correctly uh, what is going on, and. Uh, back in these engines, it was much harder to have proper tooltips. As you can see here, they have solved it by uh, having one little text box down there, which informs you what what everything is. Uh, that's that's already very very usable for the time. <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, make a few new cars. So here we have our Valor, our family sedan. Um, what new parts do we get? coil springs here now okay um, we shall update this one so maybe we just keep the uh, the engine the same and oh brakes multiple cylinders wow the super luxury and shock absorbers yeah okay let's let's go with this one what more do we have here um, electric starter heater we have windshield wiper we have radio what Okay, now, now they, they don't want more luxury right now. So this is done. And safety. Um, all the safety we can have. Bumpers, headlights, power brakes, safety belts. Do we have anything else? Nope, we don't. All right, that's it then. Okay, so now we just um, name the car the same thing. And we confirm the replacement. And... Um, See what happens here. So, um, test all, and maybe we see the new animation. Will it be amazing? We don't know. The acceleration sure is the same as always. And the braking? Uh, uh, not too bad. And the ro Nah, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Okay. Now, they probably are just like... Three animations in the game, so you, for the first third of the game, you will always see your car drift out of the corner, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it's, it's all still shit, and you you you're not told why. So nothing has changed, of course not. It's still the old game. 
Oh yeah, yeah, if only someone made a better game out of this. Yes. So, uh, oh yeah, by the way, it would be like making a proper remake of this with just a few better things in there would probably take around um, a single person, maybe three months development time around-ish, I would be my estimation. With modern tools, of course. Back in the day, it would have t taken a single person probably a year for the same thing. But um, yeah, so let's get uh, get back. We have updated the car, and uh, now let's update the Hellbird uh, because we have this new engine. It's all shiny. Ah, uh, first it's our luxury car, of course, the Valan. Yeah, uh, let's update all the parts. It always gets the best thing available in everything. Uh, like this, they probably like the shock absorbers uh, for all the luxury. Oh, it's such a smooth ride. Wouldn't you believe it? Uh, luxury was there. Uh, we already have the radio in there. So uh, there's nothing else. It's all done. And we didn't have any additional safety equipment. So nothing needs to be done. Uh, we just make it. And shock absorbers, yes, everything is chosen correctly. Uh, replace car. Yes, we shall replace the car and test everything because We uh, we really want to know what's going on. Oh, okay. So this new engine has not increased our top speed Not yet It's one of those engines which uh, they come in they come in pairs or something. No in, in triplets um, where oh Is this one? This one is also pretty economical um, where basically nothing changes, where you can't really tell a difference between the engines. Maybe there's a slight difference in in uh, zero to sixty time, but I wouldn't know how uh, how an engine can change in top speed or not in top speed, but in zero to sixty time. That would mean that the gearing is all wrong if they don't have the same power. Um, so that, that is that is weird. All right, but now it's uh, time for the helmet. Um, so, awesome engine. Yeah, awesome engine. And well, I guess everything needs to be updated. But they don't want more luxury or safety. Um, yeah, same shit there. Uh, so, uh, the front. Maybe we can make the front smaller. But we, we did try that, didn't we? And it didn't change much. It made it worse. Everything is worse. Ah, oh, this looks so sporty. Yes, <laughs> so sporty. All right, testing everything. How much more power does this one have now to uh, get to top speed? And we get 78. Wow, wow, that's mighty fast indeed. 55%. Oh, oh shit, shouldn't have changed the body. Um, let me change it back to, to whatever it was. This is terrible. And now, magically, it has 62.8% uh, for for all the good reasons. Yes, brilliant. Brilliant. All the good reasons. Uh, do we really need to update our other cars? I, I don't think we do. Um, so, let's just forward time and see what comes out of it. Massive gains. Massive gains. 1.4 million a month. Now with our new cars, our latest cars, let's have a look at the uh, sub-level distribution here. And yes, now we are ahead in suspension and brakes. And engine is beyond the 50 mark now. Halfway through uh, the game already What in regards to engines. But I think the game goes beyond year 2000. So uh, that that means that we are we are kind of in the 1950s or 60s already when it comes to engines. Ah, oh, uh, by the way, change message delay and stuff. You can oh, it's turned off. Can we turn it on? Does anything happen if we turn it on? I don't hear anything for sure. So um, probably it's set to the wrong thing. But uh, and I tried it in the first ep before the first episode. So uh, yeah, I, I can't remember though. But dissolve off uh, means that you don't get the screen transitions, which is fancy. 
um, because then you don't have to wait. It takes a long time. If you don't crank up your DOS box enormously, I'm running currently at 18,464 cycles and that gives you a, a decent transition time so that it's not completely in your face retarded but um, it's probably better to just oh what we have sound it worked it worked it was just turned off and um is this actually too loud though i don't know from my oh, it looks really loud on the voice meter here okay I'm, I'm just checking the levels and I don't think we can have that on but let's let's keep I'll just shut up for a bit and just play so that we can suck in the atmosphere <laughs> with all the uh, the magic nostalgic uh, bleepy bloopy sounds and uh, let's turn it off uh, because this is definitely too loud and I'm not recording on two different channels but rather just on top of the music so that doesn't work there we go silence silence ah never was silence such a uh, beautiful treat um, anyway okay some new technicians because we we didn't really have enough of them already so uh, now 150 are working on everything apart from engines 200 there uh, yeah sounds like we uh, will be in the 2000s before the second world war when it comes to engines okay year end let's see what our sales are doing we are selling out of the helmet okay we are definitely not selling out of the mule and the well not either but the vela and the velan oh shit we do need more of these oh it's just running on one line and explains a lot maybe i just need to go to the bank and upgrade my factories a little bit more because i uh, i have the money oh let's just trim yeah Transfer a bit of money again. Uh, how about 30 million? Oh, okay. No, that's not possible. That is too bad. That is too bad. Level 10 is maximum. So maybe we need to uh, just open a completely new factory. Hmm, we could do that. But then, oh no, I have to do all the lines again. Oh. Okay, maybe I could, could open it in Northern Europe. And then we don't have too much shipping going on between uh, Europe and... Well, currently we still have that, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let's do it in Northern Europe. Alright, factory level 10 for uh, basically nothing. Alright, I can, I can live with this. And now we need to 
go through and assign this shit. Ugh. How about 120 workers? So 20 per line. Only that. I, I don't think we need too, too much of uh, more production there. A level 10 factory spits out a lot, even if you only have 20 workers per line. All right, done. Again, that didn't take all too much time. It wasn't too bad. I hope it works now, though. Oh, let's see what happens. If we are massively overproducing. No, no I don't think we are. Hmm, maybe slightly. Let's have a look at the models, if they are actually shared correctly across regions. Oh, fuck. Okay. All the Vellas have been, uh, have been sold. That means we need even more production. Oh, yes. We do need more production. Let's up it by another 120. That's simple enough. Oh, yep. There is Automation Inc. Financially, we have been doing remarkably well this month. Indeed, we have... Uh, like, what? What is our sales looking like? Valor. Wow, you're still selling out. Huh. Shit. Okay, this is now perfect, but we do need a few more halberds and uh, Valors. Well, that's impressive. So that would be five lines. Um, Let's go for a hundred then. Oh yeah, even more money. As if we uh, needed it. No, we don't. We have plenty of money already. Uh, 31 million, let's put that into the bank and see what our, uh, our models are doing now. So, this is looking good, uh, or not. We're still, still underproducing. Okay, okay. Not selling anything in Southern Europe. Something wrong there? Okay, now that should lead to some overproduction. I hope at least uh, that that is the case. I won't forget the bank either, and then we see what comes out of it. Oh yeah, 2.35 million. And we are... Wow, okay, this is perfect. Just nine got to stock out of 1,112 produced? No, that's wrong. No, it's correct. I think it's correct. Yeah. Math! Math! Life on life on air. That's never a good idea. Oh, we do have a new cooling too. Spare tire. Luxury. <laughs> wow, that's a luxury. Uh, a high quality luxury even. Safety windshield. Hmm, some new stuff in here. Alright, another year has passed. We have stayed consistent above two point something million every month in gains and let's see how our cars are doing um, we still have apart from Warperhead they are doing really well um, we are we are leading the pack and now we are priced a little bit better too just below the competition now another profit warning <laughs> warning no warning to the my competitors rather uh, why is that um, no, it's just unchanged. There's so much cash just heaping up in front of my front door. It's scary. I'm almost not getting out anymore every morning when it's delivered by, uh, by truck. Ah, we have a new engine. An 8-cylinder. A 4.8 liter. Oh, and we have new brakes. Uh, not bad. I think it's... Oh, and a sunroof. Wow, the luxury is real. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, it's time for another update to our lineup, it seems. Uh, engine detail. Oh, yes, so much engine detail. Oh, I want to click on you. Ooh, all that detail. I know everything about you. Okay, let's start from the start here. This car needs to be updated. I uh, don't have any uh, new body types, so... Let's uh, just update the parts list. Uh, are we going to stay with the four-cylinder? I guess we could upgrade it slightly. So two shoe and tube and fin, whatever that means. Maybe add one luxury as well. Like what? What would be appropriate? Uh, not that it matters, but uh, spare tire or sunroof. Kind of sunroof would be nice for a family car, I guess. Not that it matters. I, I think they. It's it's really just. Every 
uh, like fixture you have there, it adds a certain number of points to a luxury score, which internally then is compared to other things. I don't think the, the complexity here goes beyond that. Um, it would be weird otherwise, because the whole game is is very much, uh, very much in that vein. Uh, it's there, there is no no depth to it in that regard. That like a sunroof would be better for one type of car for uh, or the other. Now, nah, it's just a luxury item with a score, and maybe it's even as simple as that. Every luxury item just adds one to luxury, <laughs> independent of what it is. It could also be. Okay. Still the Vela Mark 8, and we replace it and pay. Oh no! Now we can't afford it! It's too much! It's too much! Please save me! The performance is through the roof. What? 83 miles per hour? What's going on here? Ah, oh, the braking distance is becoming, is becoming almost not quite as shitty. All these changes, of course, didn't change the score. Um, because who, who would have. Who would have thought that upgrading your car changes the score? Now that is, by the way, that's uh, kind of an interesting observation, I think, because in automation we um, we went against what many people wanted. We always hear from people that um, what does 70 sportiness mean? And that is a result of our system that it uses absolute numbers, which are meaningless um, because they need to be compared to the competition. So actually adding better stuff will increase the absolute values of things, like objectively they are better and you can compare how they are better, but people don't, don't really get it in that sense, or many don't. And I think if you have played it a lot, and you, you sense why we are doing it, and this is exactly the reason. If you are updating your car with all the all new shit, and then you get a score which is the same, you're like, what the fuck is going on? But um, in automation it is like, oh shit, my car has increased in performance so much, but ah damn, our competition has become much stronger as well. So yeah, this is missing in Detroit, but in automation, it is like apparent because you see the stats increase and that is much more usable I think uh, overall and much more satisfying too because you see how over time your cars become better and better. So our new luxury car, is it as awesome? Uh, no not quite, we don't care. And now the helmet. Maybe we reach a, uh, a new super high speed with this one now. So we update the parts, um, the V8, awesome V8, new drum brakes and new cooling, everything this body needs. And spare tire as a luxury, yeah I think we give it a spare tire just for, <laughs> like for, for the role playing of it. Whoa, huh, this costs half a million to replace, I think I've been overproducing them a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, now now top speed. The acceleration is is through the roof, and we get um, uh, face palm. We get we get a f big fat face palm. <laughs> so the the uh, the much larger V8 is significantly slower than the V6 we just had. Uh, is that wanted? Let's see what it scores. 61%. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was just as bad before, so I don't really care. And the game gives you very, very little reason to care. So um, I, I will do it a favor and, and just play along with the non-caring non aspect. And finally, I think it is time to also give those, uh, those little cars an upgrade. Oh, um, they are about as shitty as the competition right now. <laughs> Power brakes, headlights, yeah, bumpers. Maybe they want to have a spare tire too. It's it's really good. What? What? Where is this? Ah, oh, no, that's a luxury. Sorry, it's a luxury. The spare tire. Uh, where do we have it? Spare tire. Use it. Yes. It's such an upgraded version of it. Make it. It would be amazing. Wow, almost a million there too. 
We can afford it. This is the fastest truck in the world. Who? 86%. This is actually pretty good. And now the whale is up. Oh, another million is gone. <laughs> Shit, we need to really sell out of those. Uh, all right, uh, run, run everything. See what comes of it. Sixty-one uh, percent. Yeah, the whale is shit. So uh, that's that's not a news flash. We still have seventeen million. Let's see how if they sell these new cars, these new wonderful cars. Yeah, two million in pro two point six in profits. And uh, maybe we should stop overproducing some of these. Just reduce the numbers. And uh, yeah, uh, let's take a quick look here. We are selling uh, the helmet. We have plenty of helmets. We have plenty of mules. We have even more whales. We have a few velas and no villans. Oh, all right. I know where that production is going then. But now let's take a quick look here. Do, do you start to see some trends? Yes, now we are ahead or equal in in basically everything um even the brakes suspension they have caught up slightly cooling we are ahead body level i think we will be able to uh, get a new one reasonably soon as well so then we are basically in the 40s uh, when it comes to car design already and uh, yeah i think this is a good time now that we have updated our our lineup um to call this an episode and I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time!